What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome to week six of the SFL. This week we have the battle. We're going up against Sarah, coach of a team that I don't know the name of, and no one knows the name of, including herself. She hasn't decided yet because she's a replacement for Caden of the Arkansas Araquanids. If you haven't seen why I'm bringing the Mons, I am bringing. There's a lot of thought that goes into it. Please check out the team building video. But regardless, let's see what she brings. So, all the threats. Um, gosh darn it. Mega Venusaur, hate that mod. At least we don't have any Dugtrio, we don't have any Delphox, um, so I don't need to worry about a lot of trapping shenanigans. Obviously that means like Sucker Punch on Gengar is useless, and Mach Punch is near useless on, um, uh, what's it called, on Infernape. But, we also can freely Volt Switch with our Zerka Tree. So that's really cool. I don't know if he, he could be running, or she could be running Scarf, um, Buzzwool, if I had to guess, immediately, um, Rocks and Polion, maybe a defensive? Oh, she brought Fracture. Fracture's probably offensive, Weavile is obviously offensive, Buzzwool is probably offensive, so we're probably looking at a de defensive Mega Venusaur. I'd imagine the lead is, um, what's it called? Empoleon? So I'm gonna lead off with Zerkatry and just Volt Switch on, like, everything, probably. And see what happens. Yeah, I think that makes the most sense from a lead standpoint. I do want to get my rocks pretty pretty soon, but this thing, my friend, you do not take a uh, Thunderbolt very well, if I recall correctly. I already got Zerka Tree pulled up there. Um, Kilfogregus typically runs a defensive, like physically defensive set, so I could just Thunderbolt right away. What would be the switch in here? If it's defensive, Fracture would be... Oh, that's a good call. So yeah, because we're playing a custom game, because custom rules, um, what we're going to want to do is you're supposed to team build with the under evolved form and you make the item the Mega Stone. So... So, yeah. So, not a big deal. Um, we'll get a re-challenge and see if we can go with... As far as Kofagrigus goes, we'd probably do a KO with Thunderbolt, but I wonder if she would stay in to go for another attack, or stay in to go for an attack, because my switch into that, actually, my switch in is Drapion. I should just Volt Switch, and if she stays in, I should just go into Drapion and see what I can do. Um, Shadow Ball, like, it wouldn't make sense to Will-O-Wisp, but Zerka Tree. If anything, you switch into, I don't know, your Venusaur or your Fracture in this case. Probably your Venusaur. And then I just go hard into my Gengar. And if the Venusaur takes Volt Switch damage, I can safely go for Sludge Wave. Let's see how much Sludge Wave does to um, Weavile. Of course, here I am. Battle hasn't even like technically started yet and I'm already like running calcs for things that I anticipate in the future. Um, so Sludge Wave into Sucker Punch might KO. It might KO. It's a roll. Alright, so yeah, we're going to start this off again, of course, in the same way. Um, there's a regular Venusaur, so cool, cool. We're going to lead off with Komida. And I think if we go into our Gengar here, we can just... Um... um yeah, I like Sludge Wave into um, Sucker Punch could be pretty good. Obviously, it'd be helpful if we had our rocks up, but I think the play here is just Volt Switch. Oh, and she stays in, and that is, that did 38%. That did 38%. That's either Assault Vest or Specially Defensive. Um, so that is good to know. Because Volt Switch to a defensive one would do 46% minimum. That did 38%. So we're talking max spadef, probably. Because 38%, that could be a low roll there. But let's say it's careful nature, which would increase spadef. Yeah, this is a max spadef Kofagrigus. So I'm going to go hard into my um, 
into my Drapion. It Trick Rooms. That's scary. That is indeed scary. Um, anticipating a knockoff could definitely switch out into something. I wonder, this thing doesn't really get a lot. It could be running Focus Blast, but I don't think it can KO us easily at the very least. On a knockoff, could go into Buzzwool, but we're prepped for that. We can just hit him Power Flying if it tries to set up or something like that. So yeah, I'm just going to knock off here. As it goes for Will-O-Wisp, not a bad play at all. Um, we'll get rid of what it had. Leftovers. Okay, so this is probably a bulkier set. We're going to taunt you. As it nasty plots. Oh, this is, uh, is kind of rough, actually. I know that it can't heal now, at the very least. Um, Knockoff did, what, 22.5%. We're not taking Shadow Balls super well, but we're not. It's not like they're gonna be that bad. So, Hex. Oh, that's right, Hex. Hex is base 130 when you're burnt, um, or status in general, so that kind of sucks, to be honest. That said, we really needed this for Delphox more so than anything, so I would be okay with basically trading. I wonder if. Is Knockoff gonna be more powerful than Earthquake? Yeah. What about him power flying? This is specially defensive. So I want to keep this thing from boosting up or setting up Trick Room again. Hex did a lot, of course. Knockoff. So depending on the roll with this knockoff, we could um we could KO it with this. We might not. We'll see what happens. And we knock it out. Nice. So depending on what he goes or what she goes into, we could potentially have a sack for later on. I think she's gonna go into Buzzwool. Oh, she goes into this. We want to keep this thing from getting up rocks, so I'm going to taunt it. No rocks for you. Nice. And now... Um, now what's it called? Yes, it is indeed for the SFL. Um, now we can, if he, I don't know what her Empoleon would be running. Earthquake is not going to do a lot, it's, pro it's probably just going to Scald. Is probably just gonna scald. Also, I'm realizing now at some point if all she has left is Buzzwool, Weavile, and Fracture, Scarf, Dazzling Gleam, just um, hardcore sweeps. I could, of course, um, switch into my Dredagon. Yeah, we could go into Dredagon here. It's not going to take a lot from a Scald. This thing could be running Ice Beam. I think I'm going to go hard into Komida. Unanticipated Scald. Yeah, and so we take that. No burn, luckily. And at this point... I think we just Volt Switch again. Um, let's see how much Volt Switch would do to an Empoleon. I don't know what the spread is of this Empoleon. Um, Volt Switch will still do like quite a bit. Like, quite a lot. And I can go into my Dredagon afterwards. So yeah, I'm gonna Volt Switch here. Um, it also might not be specially defensive, because the Kofagrigus was specially defensive. But, um... Okay, that's not a bad play on the Fractures part. Because now I don't have a Dazzling Gleam on to go into. But let's see how much um, Fracture takes if it's running a Violite or not. So Volt Switch would do 32 to 38, so that was probably a high roll. So it is probably running a Violite. Now the question is, um, does Gengar knock this thing out? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> um, Gengar would knock it out with a Shadow Ball. What if it's, spe actually it's not very specially defensive. Um, if we give it enough special defense so that, I don't know, like, yeah, no, it's not gonna live a Shadow Ball. The thing is, I am... Hmm. Here's the question. Here's the question. So if we go into Gengar, we potentially let the Weavile come in. And unless we just straight up Sludge Wave, of course. Which is kind of scary. Um, and then... Hmm. Actually, no, I think we go into Gengar and we Sludge Wave. Because Sludge Wave and a Sucker Punch has a chance to knock out Weavile. How much does Infernape do? How much does Infernape do to this? 
um, because that could be a really good middle ground play. Close combat does 54 to 64, so not not really enough. Um, I think I do need to go Gengar here. Yeah. Okay. Um, now the question is, do we predict the Weavile? So I ran the calc earlier. Um, Gengar, uh, Sludge Wave into Sucker Punch does have a chance to KO Weavile. Um, obviously, depending on the Weavile spread and the like. Sludge Wave into Sucker Punch is doing a like 93% minimum and a 110 or like 111% max. So it is slightly in our favor. But Gengar is really valuable here. It's really valuable. The question is, do we pull a double here? Do we pull a double? What does what does Axu typically run? Or fracture? Outrage, low kick, taunt. I'm sure it gets other moves. I know it gets earthquake for sure. So that's kind of scary. I am I'm just gonna I'm gonna risk the sledge wave, I think. It might make, um, it'll make my scissor a lot more important if I do, but I'm going to sledge wave here. Okay, so I'm glad I didn't over predict. That said, if, <laughs> if she has Pursuit on Weavile, that is the clear go-to. It appears <laughs> Weavile does not have Pursuit. So now I think she's going to want to get up her rocks. I think she's going to want to get up her rocks, which is understandable. Um, that basically means Sionji, my Drapion, is useless. We could probably Shadow Ball this twice. Because I don't really need HP on this. Um, actually, no, that's not going to do enough. She doesn't know if I have Focus Blast or not, but... Either way, we should take two... We should take another Scald. Um, we should be able to take another Scald for sure. I could take this opportunity to get at my own rocks, but I don't know if she has Ice Beam yet. I'm going to go hard into Komida again. As she gets up her rocks, which is probably a really good play. Um, which means I can't switch into Scald anymore. So that's worth noting. Now I think it comes down to, do I Thunderbolt or not? Um, I could Volt Switch here. As she probably goes into her Venusaur. And then I go into Gengar again, and probably Sludge Wave. Hmm. I die to a to an HP fire from a max special attack Venusaur as well now. It's probably defensive Venusaur. Like probably. Um. And so you see the calcs there for Gengar. Let's see what Zerkatry. Um, Thunderbolt is not doing a lot to this, right? So I think Volt Switch is the play here, um, as she goes into Venusaur. And of course, it's not Mega Evolved yet, so that's going to take a decent amount of damage. But um, I think we can just go into our Gengar and risk it the same way we did before in Sludge Wave or um, Psychic. Do we want a Psychic? Hmm. Hmm. could get up our own rocks with Drudagon. Sludge Bomb, I mean, we're going to take hits from it if it's defensive. If it's um, offensive, of course, it's going to do a lot more, probably to a KO us with Sludge Bomb. We could get up our rocks. The thing is that um, Drudagon is like my only switch in, really, at the moment to... Uh, to Empoleon or Buzzwool, so I do want to go. I want to go Gengar. Oh, um, which makes me think she doesn't have Pursuit on Weavile too, so I'm not too worried about it. I could Sludge Wave here if she wants to. She could go into Empoleon, anticipating the Sludge Wave. Um, I don't. If she had Pursuit. This, it would be a hard call to go straight into um, 
Weavile here. I want a Psychic. I want a Psychic, because I don't want to let that Empoleon come in for free. And she stays in. Nice. We do a ton of damage. Yes, that is what we needed. As she goes for Sunny Day. She goes for Sunny Day. Hmm. She goes for Sunny Day. She's not a regular Venusaur. She could have been trying to set up for a really bulky, powerful synthesis, or like really um, strong synthesis, because synthesis restores 75% HP in the sun. It boosts HP fire, of course. I think we just Sludge Wave here. Um, and yeah, we make sure that this thing is dead. So nice. Um, it's looking like Scarf Circuitry can clean up at this point. Same goes for um, Scizor. So now we see if this thing has Pursuit. We just sacrifice our Drapion here. Yeah. So we just sack Drapion. If she's got Pursuit, now's a good time to go for it. But it does not seem like she has it. Um, she goes for Night Slash. Interesting. Go for that high critical hit. It's Life Orb. So now we can go into our Infernape and clean up, pretty much. Yeah. Because Infernape... Mach Punch, Close Combat Okos, Empoleon, Flamethrower Okos, is possible, especially in the sun. So our Infernape is going to be able to take this one home. Yeah. Yeah, that, there's no way. Mach Punch, that does a lot. The only way is to maybe make me go for enough Close Combats that um, I'd be in range of, what's it called? in range of Ice Shard. I don't want to take, I, I doubt that's a thing, but um, I just want to make sure, and the way around that is just by going for Earthquake here if it KOs, and it probably does, so I'm gonna Earthquake here just to avoid getting any um, stat drops. So, so yeah, um, Sun's out, so depending on if there's any specially, um, if there's any specialty defense um, or special defense investment in the what's it called the buzzwall, it might be able to take this, but but yeah, <laughs> um, this should be GG. I mean, yeah, Scarf Circuitry wins with Dazzling Queen. Like I, th this is GG, um, unless Life Orb Ice Shard crit. I, I don't know. Um, either way, this was uh, this was a good match. Um, I'm sorry, Sarah. You're welcome to competitive Counter League format. Was this match, but <laughs> it was good. You played well. Like. Obviously, maybe a little bit more aggressive play, anticipating my doubles or such, or the like, would have been helpful. But, um, surprised me with the Spadef Kofagrigus. Um, it was really good getting up your rocks with Empoleon. So now we'll just, uh, we'll Flamethrower here. This should do, this should Oko it. Um, I EV'd this to o to guarantee Oko a no Spadef, no HP investment buzzwall. But, yeah. Um, with an expert belt, of course. It, that's that's the minimum. Doing like 101%. So, oh, what a mundo is gonna take us home. All right. So with that, I think we are four and two. I think we're four and two. Next week we go up against the next three weeks are the hardest weeks though. We go up against Noah next week, which is um. Do we want to end with a close combat? No, we'll just go on punch. Um. Noah has a ridiculously difficult team next week. And then we go up against Sam and one other person. I forget exactly who. But. But, yeah. <laughs> Gonna go for it. Ice Shard. Oh, no. But. GG. GG, Sarah. Um, Alright, let's hope we can. Let's hope we can, like, maintain this momentum. Um. Going on to, into the uh, going on in the next week. If you guys have any suggestions, um, I don't know for music or not. I don't know. I'm in a Fire Emblem mood and like a Sonic mood for some reason. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Let's let's keep this victory going. Let's make the playoffs. We got to make that top cut. So we're gonna keep on trying to win. But until the next week, this has been Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete.